Should we dive back in and see if we can get any further? I, I say oh, we just go I'm for it. I'm scared for it to pop up. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> now, it should change from an awkward potion into a potion of water breathing. So, let's find out. Hey, guys, it's Fruit, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, you guys are probably asking yourself, you know, where are we? We're just stranded out in the middle of the ocean. But, guys, we are here with a very valid reason. We are here because we have stumbled across a ocean monument. Now, we've just stumbled across this ocean monument because we want to see what it's going to be like to actually fight the ocean monument. Because, obviously, we don't have any night vision potions with us right now. We don't even have any water breathing breathing potions with us right now so we're just going to dive in you know see what to expect and maybe fight this in one of the upcoming episodes so prod zetro are you guys ready to go and see what is inside of this ocean monument mate honestly i'm so scared we've literally just come over here unprepared zetro doesn't have any of his armor but guys are you ready to dive in to the ocean monument i, I say we just go for it i say we just see what it's looking like come on i mean i can oh, barely even no. see under the water i think we should start bowing them i mean i don't want to fully fight it we're just not prepared all right should we all charge it with our sword yeah this isn't working yeah i'm saying we just go has everyone got their sword <laughs> I thought I was going first. just don't let it lock onto you just don't get too close either oh no oh, i'm drowning i'm drowning i'm drowning oh no i'm pretty sure if it just locks on oh wait no there we go all right what did it drop i forgot what it drops uh, oh, I got prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. Should we dive back in and see if we can get any further? I, I say oh, we just go I'm for it. I'm scared for it to pop up. Oh, oh my god, I'm scared <laughs> it's so bad. Oh no, it's, it's locked onto you now, Prod. All right, let's just try to shoot it. I, I mean, bows just aren't going to work. It's underwater. I don't even know what we're doing here. We don't have any of the correct equipment. This is probably a bad idea. I've literally got mining fatigue for th like four minutes. Yeah. We can just see Prod over there with his with his mining fatigue particles. All right, guys, so me and Zetra are literally just going to go over it right now, see if we can try and get a few shots off. If I accidentally bow you, Zetra, I'm very sorry. Just know I was trying to get one of them. Oh, bow. no. It, it just... I can't even bow properly. So, uh, Zetro, Prod, you guys ready to head back? Definitely. I'm very, very prepared. All right, guys, so we're heading back right now. Let's get back. To safety. As you guys can see, just casually flying past MD's massive build right there. I honestly just can't believe how good it actually looks. Okay, here we go. We have made it back to our home. All right, let's get inside and let's start preparing the Enderman farm. All right, here's Spike just chilling here again. How, how are you doing, Spike? Well, um, that's pretty interesting. So, uh, thanks for sharing. All right, so as you guys can see, we have basically collected every single material that we do need for this Enderman XP farm. So we've got a bunch of oak leaves. We've got so many stone bricks. We've got some hoppers, some ladders, and and I've kind of just realized the amount of leaves we actually have. We need literally loads to actually make this Enderman farm possible. So, so me having all these oak leaves will actually make sense when we do start the build. So, guys, we're gonna head over to the end and we're gonna start on this build. Also, another thing we are gonna do in this episode, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, I basically said. So, if you guys did watch the last episode, you guys would have seen that we built this trophy room slash armory room which basically has an enchantment table it's got a bunch of gear all around it it's also got like a bit of the ender dragon stuff that we've got and collected over the time we've had the world and we are also going to extend it down here and add some of the wither stuff and also the ocean monument stuff but yeah so we pretty much made this build and i pretty much said whoever can come up with the best name for this actual building will have a sign dedicated to them right here with the name of the building and also their name so guys we are going to be choosing this a little bit later but guys before we do go ahead and make this enderman xp farm i do have a little bit of an announcement to make real quick so guys let me just show you guys this announcement i've actually opened up a discord which you guys can actually join right now so guys if you do want to join the discord and have a chance of being in future videos and just talk to me and all the other guys on the server make sure you guys go down to the comments it will actually be the pinned comment so if you guys do want to join at the discord make sure you guys do it it would really mean a lot so again thank you guys for all the support and let's go build this enderman farm Okay, so as you can see, the build is done and it's very, very loud. All the Endermen are in there and they just, they're just so loud. So I've had, I've had to turn down the sound just a little bit. But also, guys, massive credit goes to Shulkercraft for this design. It's actually a really, really good design and I'm basically finished with it. One thing I do want to do, though, is as you can see, Endermen can actually spawn on the bridge that I've made. So what I want to do is just go throughout the whole thing and place leaf blocks above where these leaf blocks are. So no Endermen can actually spawn because then that way it will only be two blocks high, which means Endermen won't be able to spawn actually on the bridge. So when we're walking to and from the end, it will actually be fine and we won't get knocked off or anything like that but guys what i think i'm gonna do now is just grind out a bunch of levels see if i can get maybe level 40 or something like that but something i've just realized is that i don't actually have sweeping edge on my sword so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stay here get to about level 40 and then enchant a bunch of swords to actually get sweeping edge so then when we come back here we can make the process of getting rid of these endermen so much easier but guys if you don't really know how this works it's basically a massive platform where a bunch of endermen spawn over there and then above here there is a little endermite which basically attracts all the endermen to come over here and get trapped down here and then i can just go through and eliminate them all like this and get all their xp so that's basically how it works but as i said huge credit to shulkercraft for the design and let's get to level 40 just look at the amount of xp i'm getting from this this is literally so much better than the other xp farm we had oh 
My goodness. Okay, so we're at level 35 right now. Let's just go for another five levels and then we'll be all the way up to level 40. But guys, this is so efficient. I'm getting so much XP from this. The only thing is, is that my sword doesn't have infinite durability. So it is going to break eventually. But I mean, it's doing pretty good right now. All right, so here we go. We are about to hit level 40. It's so loud here. So I've had to turn the sound down, as I already said, guys, because these Endermen, they can get pretty loud. But here we go. We're about to hit level 40. This has literally taken like two minutes. Not even that. It's so quick. And also, how many Ender Pearls we got? This is this is also a pretty good Ender Pearl farm as well as being an XP farm. So I mean, that's also another good thing. But here we go. We're about to hit level 40. Can we get it? Come on. There's so much XP in there, but if I go too close, you can see that they all just hit me back. But there we go. We've got level 40. Let's leave it there because I want to go back and enchant some stuff. And I also want to start on some potions. One thing I want to do is just get rid of these endermen real quick so I can build a platform above our heads when we run over here. So let me just see if I can get rid of these. Okay, they go into the void. Come on. Off you go. There we go. All right, so we're just going to have to push this enderman off. I don't want it to hit me. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, no. There's so many up there. I'm just going to have to go like this so I don't look any of them in the eye. All right, so I'm really trying my hardest not to look at the enderman up there. Please don't get angry with me and hit me off the edge. I'll literally lose everything. I've got my alive my netherite chest plate. I've got everything inside the shulker box right now that is important. So let's hope that those endermen don't get angry with me. Okay, there's none of them behind me that can knock me off. Let's just keep going. Okay, just mind our own business. Let's just let's just get back to the end. Let's get to safety. Okay, I don't think any of them are going to bother with us. All right, can they even see us from here? Okay, to be honest, we're not even too far from the actual end anyway. So I mean, I think we're like over 130 blocks out from the end, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is a very scary task though. Like we're literally one block away from losing everything and it's not even like we can get it back. It just goes into the void and disappears forever. I should probably have my elytras on for this and maybe some fireworks as a little bit of extra safety. But to be honest, I think we might just be fine here. All right, let's make it back with all of our stuff. We've come this far without getting thrown into the void. Another thing I just want to say is guys, this enderman farm took forever. It literally took so long to do and especially the endermite where you've got to get the endermite in the minecart. That literally took forever as well. So, so to be honest, I'd say I've done a pretty good job there. All right, here we go. We have done the platform right here. And another thing I want to also do is maybe put slabs all on the top of these as well so no endermen can spawn on top but to be honest even if endermen do spawn on top it's not the end of the world because obviously we're not going to be looking them in the eyes anyway but guys let's get back to the base let's enchant some swords see if we can get lucky with sweeping edge three and then i also want to make a potato farm and also start on brewing some potions because as i said we are going to be fighting the ocean monument soon so we're going to need night vision okay we've got one of the endermen angry right now oh, oh no oh no okay we don't even have our chest plate on all right so let's just get some lapis let's get our diamonds out let's get some sticks and i think i want to try and enchant maybe three swords so let's just put three swords in here one two, three, just like that. And then I'm also going to put my chest plate back on and also get my pickaxe out. All right, so there's my pickaxe pack. Let's just put all the stuff in the shulker box. Let's also put our chest plate on and let's go over to the enchantment table. Okay, here we go. Let's go into the enchantment room. And guys, I still haven't got a replacement for the bookshelf. I definitely will have to get that done extremely soon. I just, if you don't know what happened, I basically accidentally broke a bookshelf. So I mean, we've just got one missing right there, but I don't think it actually affects us getting level 30 or anything like that. So as you can see, I can still do the level 30 enchant. All right, come on. Fire Aspect 2, Smite IV, not too bad. I mean, it's not got what we want on it. Okay, are you serious? An Unbreaking 3 Sword. O okay, I mean, we'll take it. This is our last one. Sharpness 4, Knockback 2. I mean, we can do one more. Is it worth it? Should we risk wasting even more diamonds for this? I really am tempted now we got the Enderman farm, but I mean, that is two more diamonds. Should we just do it? If we do not get Sweeping Edge right now, that is going to be a big waste of diamonds. But on the bright side, we have all of these swords that I guess we can maybe put in an anvil and combine some of them together to get a better one. But I mean, it would be nice if we just got Sweeping Edge. I want a sword literally just for using the Enderman farm. So I mean, come on. All right, Bane of Arthropods. And it's, it, of course, it would just be Bane of Arthropods. I mean, come on. All right, so guys, we didn't get any luck there. So let's just make this potato farm and then let's get into brewing some potions. All right, let me just empty my inventory. Tree, though. Okay, so for this potato farm, we are going to need some of our farming equipment, which I believe I have in here. So let's just get all of that ready. We got our potatoes here. I think I have another stack laying around here somewhere, maybe. Okay, so as you can see, we got this little kind of pathway going on, and I actually want my farm to be up there, as I said. So I'm going to carry this kind of pathway all the way up here, all along here, and then I want to extend it up here into, of course, what is going to be the farm. So it's, so it's all going to match perfectly with this pathway we've got here. So it's all going to go up here and lead nicely into the farm, which should take up quite a bit of space, but not too much. So I mean, let's just see what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so we're basically done with the farm over here. If we go over, there's just a few finishing touches we've got to do, and we've also got to actually turn it into a farm by obviously turning it into a farm because there's nothing growing there. But let's just add a few final touches to it, and this is what it is going to be for now. Obviously, in the future, we are going to maybe work on it, make it a bit bigger, extend it and stuff like that. But as you guys can see, I tried to blend it in here with the kind of when you shovel the grass, it kind of makes this little design on the floor, or I don't really know how to explain it, but you guys can kind of see I've tried to I've tried to blend this in as best as I can, but it doesn't look too good. So I mean I guess I might try and fix that in the future. And some of these dirt blocks haven't grown into grass yet, so I can't actually use my of them as you guys can see so yeah what i want to do right now is just actually turn it all into a farm area and in the future i definitely want to make them all 
automated so for now they're not going to be automated but that's definitely something i am going to work on so guys we're just going to finish up this farm and then i think we're going to be going with zetro to make some potions ready for when we fight the ocean monument of course so guys let's get to doing this and let's plant all the potatoes we've got and also we're going to plant carrots so i think this one's going to be a potato farm and this one's going to be a carrot farm so let's just get to it so i'm nearly done with this one right now we've just got to go through and put the potatoes down and we should be good to move on to the carrot farm so i mean i don't think i'm going to have enough potatoes just to fill this up right now as it is i mean we've only got 42 so let's just see how much potatoes we can actually plant before we run out okay so i'm literally on my last eight potatoes i would have thought i was going to be able to at least fill half of it but i'm literally only going to be able to fill up this bit which is actually good though because that means that in the long run i'm going to have a massive potato farm now let's use our carrots and i mean we've only got 26 of those so i doubt we'll even be able to fill up too much but i mean to be honest this isn't looking too bad as just like a non-automated sort of farm it actually looks pretty good we actually have the skeleton farm which means we can literally get unlimited bone meal if we really want to so i mean it's no problem to fast grow these farms if we really want to but to be honest i'm just going to kind of let them grow by themselves apart from these ones right here let's just get a bunch of these and let's start replanting okay so we got over a stack now wait a stack and 11 okay as i said we do need to start preparing for this ocean monument so guys let's go ahead and make some potions let's go okay guys so we with zetro right now and we are gonna go and try and make potions to be honest i'm not really too familiar with how to make potions zetro i don't know if you're a professional with the potions or not i'm not sure are, are you never done it honestly so guys, what we're going to do is we're going to make a brewing stand and we're going to try and make night vision potions and also water breathing potions as well. So I've got uh, the stuff, I think, to make a brewing stand. I think it just takes one blaze rod and then also some cobblestone. Now, surely I've got to have some cobblestone laying around somewhere. What we need to do now is we need to get some bottles and we need to work on actually making the potions. And to make water breathing, I'm pretty sure we need puffer fish. So Zetro, how about you work on getting the um, water bottles and I work on getting the puffer fish? Yep, there we go. All right, I've used my uh, little water elevator as a water source. All right, turns out out. You don't even need to bother getting the water bottles. I already had the stuff to do it. Come on. Yes, we finally got one and it was and it was raw cod. Are you serious? Come on. Alright guys, so it turns out while I was fishing, Zetro decided to tell me he had 38 puffer fish. Oh my, oh jeez. <laughs> Here we go, Zetro. Ignore the fact that my cows are being really loud above, but this is the moment of truth. Is this going to be enough to actually make what we need to make. Okay, here we go. It's it's, it's doing something. I, I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. I'm a bit nervous. If we just make the wrong potion, I think we just, I think we just throw the puffer fish in. Wait, what's this going to do? All right, this, this is the water breathing potion. So we've got the puffer fish in there. Now it should change from an awkward potion into a potion of water breathing. So let's find out. Come on, please yeah. work. Any minute now it should be done and this should be water breathing. Okay. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, wow. but I think if we had redstone dust, that might improve it. I think it improves it from three minutes to like, think it'd be maybe six minutes. It might double it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh my God. All right, so there we go. We have made three water breathing potions for eight minutes. There, here's one for you, Zetro, and I'll give the other one to Prod, and I'll make another one for MD when they're online. But there are our water breathing potions. Now, so for the night vision, we need to do the same thing with the awkward potion. So let's put all these in. We need to make an awkward potion, and, I, and then I literally just think we put in a golden carrot. The, the fact we can make so many of these as well with the amount of golden carrots we have. And the amount of nether wall, and also the amount of, what's it called, blaze powder. Again, this is going to turn into awkward potion. We slam the golden carrots in, and it should actually work. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Pop in the golden carrot there. And then I think if we put redstone again, it should last maybe eight minutes again. We'll have to find out. If I'm correct, this should be a night vision potion. Come on. Yes. That's yes, it is. Good. Three minutes. Now add the redstone dust and it should be eight minutes again. So we're going to have eight minutes of water breathing time. So I think to be safe, we should make two of each potion for e each of us. Yeah, in total, that's about 16 minutes of water breathing and night vision. That should, it's not going to take any longer than that, I don't think. If it takes us longer than 16 minutes to do the ocean monument, then we're going to be a little bit in trouble. But here we go. We got the night vision. We got the water breathing. That is actually an accomplishment right there because yeah, I, I thought it was going to be way more difficult to get water breathing potions, but at least we've got it now. But guys, there we go. We got the night vision. We got the water breathing. Let's go. Wait, Zetro, have you seen my um, potato farm, by the way? Do you want to check it out, maybe? No, I haven't seen it. All right, guys, so what me and Zetra are about to do right now is, if you guys remember, I said at the start of this episode, we are going to be giving a shout out to the person that has given us the best name for this building. Now, the person will be on screen and all that type of stuff, so thank you so much for the name. The name, I believe, was The Archives. Now, I really, really like this name because, I don't know, it just, it's just really nice and it kind of fits the, the theme of the building because it looks really, really kind of modern. And I think The Archives suits very well. So we're going to put a sign here with your name on and also the name that you came up with. So thank you guys all so much for the comments. And if you want to give us any more names of buildings that we should make in the future, let us know down below in the comments but guys let's put their name and also the name of what they want to call the building so let's go okay so here we go the archives and then we've obviously got their name there so that is looking pretty fresh i think that makes the build look a little bit better honestly having that sign what do you think zetra i like it i like how it's like dead center in the middle and i, I think the name just looks cool as well Make sure you guys keep leaving comments of stuff that we should build and what we should name it, guys. All of your comments really, really mean a lot to us. So, guys, let me show Zetro my farm because he hasn't seen it yet. So, Zetro, follow me over here. This is the beginning of my farm. So, I'm going to extend it, obviously, and I don't have enough potatoes yet to fully plant them all, but that will be done very, very shortly. So, I mean, what do you think? 
I like it. I think it's, I don't know, just nice and simple. I think it's quite, I think it's a good spot for it as well, to be fair, like right next to your house. Yeah, I mean, and the, the path obviously continues up to it as well. So guys, let me know as well down below in the comments, what do you think of my farm? So one last thing I want to do before we end the episode, guys, is show you something Zetro has been working very, very hard on. And honestly, I think you guys are going to be impressed because it really impressed me as well. I, I think it's one of the best builds that Zetro has actually done. And I think it looks really, really nice. So not only has he done a sheep farm over there, but if we carry on going, it should render in any moment now. There it is. Wow, that is very impressive, guys. Zetro has built a windmill. What was the thought behind the windmill? I mean, obviously you got a massive wheat farm. Was that was that the kind of purpose of it? I mean, obviously the windmill looks cool, but the wheat farm is basically so. If you look at that temple over there, yeah, it, it, it doesn't look the best with all the netherrack. So we're gonna use this wheat to get sheep from over there and just keep breeding them, and then we can turn all that netherrack into red wool and just make it look a lot better, basically. Fair enough. So yeah, I I honestly when when you showed me this, I was literally so surprised. I think it looks really really nice. The detail. The detail's just insane. But guys, I think that is where we are going to end this video. So thank you all so much for watching, guys. And all the support recently just really means a lot to all of us. So guys, have a great rest of your day and peace.